Opinion. Why Christians and Republicans should reconsider the premise that life begins at conception. I'm not settled Christian. It, it's not settled Christian theology, and it's outliving its political utility. Keep your religion out of my vagina, says the the uh, the banner here created at this rally. Community faith leaders gather for prayer vigil in Washington D.C. There is a widespread and nuanced theological debate about the beginning of life in the history of Christianity. Oh, my goodness gracious, guys. They're going to attack life any way that they can. Just any way that they can. That's all this is about. And, you know, there is no such thing as separation between church and state. Let me tell you what that's about. That's about the government not forcing you to be a certain religion. Go back over 300 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, that's when that came about. That's all about the Puritans coming here. Well, not quite 300 years ago, but you know what I mean. That's where that came from and nowhere else. In 2004, I stood in a voting booth, says the article, trying to convince, convince myself that I should vote for John Kerry over George Bush. As a youth pastor at Southern California Mega Church, voting Democrat was nearly unthinkable, despite my reasoning that the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan were leading to the deaths of innocent people and that more people. Uh, that more support for the poor, for single parents, for education, all seem aligned with Jesus's message. My spiritual elders always repeated the same refrain back to me. Abortion is murder. The belief that abortion is murder is founded on the premise that life begins at conception. Uh, I'm going to disagree there. I'm going to disagree there. Have you actually watched abortion videos? Have you seen the images? Have you seen the dumpsters of baby arms and legs and feet and hands and their bodies? Guys, it's not just at conception. However, I can tell you right here on the outset of this article, life does begin at conception. It's basic science. It doesn't happen without it. So they're, they're trying to support something that's evil, twisted, satanic, the worst thing you could possibly you know, the worst thing that you could possibly dedicate yourself to or support, the killing of the innocent, the killing of the ones who have no voice. The belief that abortion is murder is founded on the premise that life begins at conception. The premise drove my evangelical politicals as a zealous young convert, and it continues to motivate millions of Americans when they go to vote in local, state, national elections. Um, they continue here. The idea that life begins at conception is neither a unanimous belief in the history of Christianity. No, of course not. No. What is a unanimous belief? It's terrible writing. Nor a classic American Protestant doctrine. Incorrect. It absolutely is a classical American Protestant doctrine. People have been against the murder of babies since the, the beginning of abortion. When Parker writes about protecting the sanctity of life from the moment of conception, he is not carrying on a long-standing Protestant theological tradition by basing his decision on stalwarts of American evangelicalism like Cotton Mather or John Wesley or Jonathan Edwards. They didn't even speak about it because at that time, nobody even thought this possible. It didn't even enter the realm of possibility for them to speak out against it. I can guarantee you that if these evangelicals like Jonathan Wesley, Jonathan Edwards was walking around today, they would abhorrently be against this evil doctrine. I think I just misused the word abhorrently. You're going to have to forgive me on that one. Instead, Parker is repeating a political mantra concocted by Republican operatives in the late 20th century in a successful effort to create a conservative Catholic Protestant voting bloc capable of taking over the GOP. Oh, it was all a conspiracy theory. The Republicans came from a conspiracy theory. Guys, this is a joke. This is an absolute joke. As a Christian, I'm called to love this guy that wrote this, that believes this, that the people who carry out these atrocities, I'm commanded by Jesus to do that. However, I'm also called to call out their evil, their sin. It is what it is. You're taking a precious human life, and that is evil, sinful. And you need to repent and turn away from this evil destruction. I hope and pray that our nation goes back to the way that it was before, but we know that it's not going to. Thanks for coming here to Coach's Archives. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you guys on the next one.